Hello folks and welcome back. Oh, look where I'm at at Spirit of Halloween store. I love this store here. Uh, but this is going to be our October Hunters Full Moon reading. And uh, I thought that uh, since we've got the full moon coming up here on the 17th of October, a lot of folks don't realize that. Some folks call it the werewolf moon. But uh, the October moon can be like a really scary moon for a lot of people. You know, a lot of things, a lot of strange things happen uh, just as, as it does in this uh, story here. Uh, but uh, the reading that I'm going to do is pretty simple. It's going to be uh, four cards, and you'll see. And uh, the reading that came out, um, oh, look, there's the corpse bride. How about that? Um they, uh, I think this reading may mean something to some of you, I'm hoping, uh, but only in a positive way, okay? But it, just remember, the readings are going to be like, a, they're always, the card readings are like a, you know, uh, an awareness, you know, to maybe a, a get you aware of things that happened maybe in the past, for the present, or even uh, something that you need to be aware of that's coming up into the future. Uh, so that's why I, I do this. And remember, I'm not a psychic. I just love studying and uh, doing these cards. So, um, But uh, there's some interesting stuff. It really comes up on the board. Oh, Lord, look at this. Cotton candy. <laughs> so let's see what the ball, what the mystical ball, what the fortune teller ball, what it's going to tell us today from the card. Welcome back to the table, spirits. Spirits, today is Sunday, October the 13th, 2020. Folks, as I was recording uh, the uh, the reading, there kept coming in, I noticed that there was a sound that kept coming in, and I didn't notice that, of course, until after I had uh, recorded the table. So you're going to hear static. And this is the first time, really, that I've ever experienced it this much. Uh, but there's a lot of static that keeps coming in on the recording, so that's why you'll hear that. I don't know what it's from. It could be from a, a spirit that's around the table or a different spirits, but uh, it's very interesting. And if I have some spirits around me or at the table here, I'd like to do a reading for our upcoming full moon. And uh, I know that some people out there watching this may need some focus, uh, awareness of something from the past, present, or even into the future. To start with, though, spirits, I want only the good spirits here. Bring in the good spirits. I do not want any bad spirits. If there's any bad spirits here, please go away. Go away. <clears throat> Spirits, I'm going to start with some numbers here. If you can help me with uh, two numbers, from zero to nine, I'm going to pull out two numbers that may mean something to someone. So two. Right. And one more, Spirits. We have 27. 27. So that may mean something, or it could be 72. <clears throat> now, spirits, I'm going to ask you to help me with some cards here. And this is just a basic reading. Um, I've got the tarot cards, and then I have three stacks of the Cardamency cards. If you could help me with the tarot cards and the cardamency cards, I would definitely appreciate that. And I will start with the cardamency or with the tarot cards. The tarot spirit cards is what I call them. And I feel like that this is probably a good spot in spirits, as you may know, if you've been here to the board with me, you know I only need one card to relay a message from the tarot. So I'm going to roll the dice, and I want you to give me a number of how many to deal down. 
feel like that's good. Spirits, how many cards to deal down to the one card that someone watching may need to pay attention to? Four. One, two, three. That is our fourth card there. Thank you, spirits. Now, spirits, this is from the past. These are the cardamency cards. And this stack would be from the past. So I'm going to speed up just a little bit here on the table, but when I'm shuffling the cards and asking the spirits to help me stop, that's, I usually feel like a moment to stop shuffling. To that one card. Thank you, spirits. Now this is the present, the present cardamency cards. And spirits, can you give me a, a card for what presently we need to be paying attention to? What we need to be paying attention to? How many to deal down? Five. Okay. One, two, three, four. Will be the one. And finally, this is the future. What could be? The what could be cardamency cards. Yeah, the cardamency cards are always like that right in your face kind of fortune. Uh, my good friend Marilyn, she always says that, uh, you know, these cards from the poker. Uh, cards or the fortune from them can really bring out something you know of what you need to be aware of for me that a past present or future so it's interesting so please go away I only want our good spirits here so we have our cards here so let's start with our tarot card to see if it's forward or reversed this is oh, it's judgment and it's forward. Well, this is an interesting card to come up. Uh, the judgment's also known as the rebirth card, and uh, it uh, stands for many things, but uh, uh, self elevation, you know, m uh, awakening, something awaken, you know, something that needs to be awakened, uh, renewal, something needs to be renewed. Uh, your cons composure, you know, maybe needs a little work on. Uh, there's also, it talks about deceive, deceivenessness, you know, somebody deceiving you. Uh, homesickness, you know, where you're, you know, just, you're stuck at home, you're not able to get out. And snap judgments, uh, and pointing blame at people, and, and forgiveness too. So, that's the rebirth part, you know, you need to try to uh, consider, you know, forgiveness uh, possibly um, but also have the, the the meaning of the whole card so here it is in a general context the judgment tarot card upright can indicate that you and or someone you care about are being judged too harshly by others it can also indicate that you are judging people harshly or making snap judgments yourself Alternatively, judgment can also be an indication that you have achieved a level of clarity and composure that allows you to calmly evaluate yourself and your choices in order to make positive decisions. You have come through your past karmic lessons with increased self-awareness, and you are allowing healing to take place so you can move forward in a positive direction. If you have a big decision to make when this major arcana card appears, Use the karmic lessons you have learned from the past to help you make the right choice. Judgment upright can represent a legal matter or a court case being resolved. If you have acted honorably and told the truth, this matter should be resolved in your favor. If you have been dishonest, don't expect things to go your way. You need to clear your conscience and try to make amends for your misdeeds. This major arcana card can also signify being separated from someone you love by an ocean or sea. You can expect to be reunited with them soon when it appears. It can also indicate homesickness.
Yes, the judgment card. <laughs> oh, someone's being judged. Now, from the past cardamency cards, something that uh, relates to something we may need to be paying attention to in our past, it could come on to their future. And that card is. Speaks volume here, folks. That is the Ace of Spades. Some people call it the death card from the past here. That's what we got. Something had to come to an end. So when the Ace of Spades is pulled on the Carnamency cards, uh, it's always scary to people to think about what this means. A lot of people uh, consider this a death card. But what it really means, uh, it just means that something has had to come to an end, or needs to come to an end. And being that this is from the past, supposedly, it is talking about something that did come to an end, or needed to. But there's also uh, the, the, the names, or the wording to this is, um, it's discipline and responsibility, and there's also something about venomous uh, reptiles, savage animals, uh, uh, crematories, uh, buried bones, street violence, avoiding danger. Uh, it also references poison and bad magic medicine, which, uh, you know, that can relate to hard drugs and uh, to end something. And also it has something to do with labor, career, and housing. So, but this is, here is the, um, what the card reading says about this card. Death may mean an end to things as we know them, as well as the unearthing of secrets. This card is known as trouble and emotional conflict card obsession and addictions, such as alcohol and drug abuse. It also sometimes is referred to as the death card, just because something or some situation may be coming to an end. It could also mean a thing of death to something else besides a person, such as the end of a business or a function. Presently, what do we have? Look at that. We have the Queen of Clubs. Yeah, that's a very interesting card for our present. So this is an interesting card to come up for our present. Uh, so if you're watching this and you're wondering, why would this card up come up for me watching this? Well, you know, this card represents it may be something that you or someone you know is dealing with. It does deal with prostitution. It de deals with uh, health issues, but it also deals with uh, ladies in power and uh, who take power so that might let you know something that uh, you've been thinking about uh, it also deals with uh, with emotions you know with uh, people's emotions and men's emotions and uh, it also it, it, it's a sexual card too um, and it's it deals with um, bird-like spacecrafts so it's very interesting very interesting card but here is the reading of this card and what it stands for the basics of it this is lility because lility domain is in a black suit her powers are symbolic of night energy lility rules the dreaming of male encounters and the mysteries of the nightlife and knowledge of the unconscious mind this card is picking up from you that you will encounter this female person within a very short period of time. She is an attractive self-confident woman. She represents a dark-haired woman over the age of 18. Be cautious of her sexuality and powers beyond your control. Yes, thank you spirits. And the future cardamency card, what could that be? What is that going to be trying to tell us? Something to be aware of. Oh, we have a male figure. The diamond, the king of diamonds. It's an interesting, interesting card there. Now here is an interesting card for our future card. Now, why would it come up? Well, I don't know. But it does represent uh, someone of a higher stature. Okay, uh, this is a king card. They call it the big sword card. <laughs> 
Um, it represents like firemen and medical uh, assistants, policemen, uh, bigger than life characters, superheroes. Uh, and also it represents large weapons and expensive clothing. But also here is the meaning of this card. Let me let you listen to that. This is King Daniely. This king represents a mover and a shaker who takes charge and changes things. Daniely is also the big money card, sometimes called the man with the big sword. The king chose you today because your future could be a bright one from the knowledge of a person of his stature. This male person can represent a stubborn and influential man. He possibly could be a married or unmarried, black, red or brunette hair male of the age 21 or over. King Daniely advises you to take charge of your own life and march forward. This can mean a lot, folks. Remember, this is October the 13th. This is the 13th card. What does that uh, high stature mean? And there we go. Spirits, I want to thank you for helping me with this read. I know that uh, a lot of people watching this, this is going to mean something to them, and hopefully in a positive way. So folks, there's our reading for October 2024 for the full moon. And of course, uh, from the past card, which was the Ace of Spades, um, you know, it can mean a lot of things. It just means mostly that it's a, a, the end of things that needed to come to an end. And then, of course, for your present card, what could be, or what is, uh, we have the Queen of Clubs. And, of course, that can mean the most thing that that card is focusing on is sexuality and prostitution. Now, if that means something to you as you're watching this video, you know, maybe it's just something you need to be aware of. Maybe you'll come across uh, this situation. You know a friend or a person that, you know, that's um, maybe having to deal with that or, you know, Maybe you're thinking about going into the business, but you may come across that. I'm just saying that you, you've watched this video. It may be something that you are uh, getting ready to be aware of, possibly. And then the future card was the King of Diamonds. And the King of Diamonds is always a big stature card. So that means somebody is going to possibly come into your life or someone else's life that you may know about and is going to try to rule, but also also is going to take charge of a maybe a bad situation uh, or take take charge of a situation that you know that needs to be taken care uh, taken charge of kind of like a superhero kind of person so that's what possibly this uh, futuristic card is trying to tell us and of course finally we don't want to forget about the judgment card which was the tarot card that was pulled and it was upright you know facing forward um, and it just it is there is a sense that uh, something, you know, needs to be forgiven. Uh, something needs to be started new, uh, and you need, and, and you know, and things you need to judge things in a good way, so you can make good positive, um, uh, make good positive decisions. So, but uh, in all, it is a good card, especially with it being the upright. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this, and if you have not yet subscribed to the uh, channel, if you if you would, think about it and do so, I'd, I'd appreciate that very much. And if you like this video, if you will, hit the like. And um, until next time, folks, I hope all of you have a great rest of your October. Uh, happy Halloween to everyone. Be safe out there. Love each other. And until next time, folks, this is George, and, well, I'll see you down the road. Bye-bye. Ha, 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 ha.